editable mesh, edit geometry rollout, the cut button. Let's start by creating a box. I'm going to create segments of one and now that I have a box I'm going to right click on it and convert it to an editable mesh. Once I'm in the editable mesh I'm in my edit geometry uh, rollout here and I want to go up and select on the sub object and for the cut we can pick on the edge, the face, the polygon, or the element. So I'm going to pick on the polygon here and in this polygon then I'm going to come down here where it has the cut button and in the cut button then I'm going to pick on cut and I'm going to come over here and I'm going to pick uh, let's say on the midpoint of this line and I'm going to come over here and pick on the midpoint of this line All right. And then I'm going to pick on this point, and I'm going to come back to this point. All right. And you can see now I have a triangle cut out of there. The finish, I'm going to right click twice, and I've cut that now. And so what I can do is I can go into my face, and I can select a face. And so I'm going to go and say do a select and move. And I'm going to pick on the face here. And I'm going to turn off my snaps here. And you can see I have cut this out. And now I can move that object to that particular um, setting. I can do whatever I want. I can actually do a move or whatever it may be but I am editing by this particular face. And that face was created because I was able to cut that polygon to any way I wanted here. And um, so um, I can go around. You can see now that they're cut based on that cut line. And uh, so before, right, they're cut corner to corner. In this case, I drew this cut line across forcing it to be cut in a different manner. So cutting it can be done in the edge, the face, the polygon, or element sub-object. And then once we cut it, it allows us to edit those things uh, in various ways.